also came the problem of Palestine. In recent years, this small country had been the scene of disorder and bloodshed. Border clashes in Greece, and soon open warfare broke out in this troubled area of the world. In May of 1948, a new Jewish state, Israel, was born in a bath of blood. Jewish troops routed Arab forces from the city of Haifa in the first of a series of battles that were to reverberate through the years. In the year of independence, fighting was fierce in the Negev desert area. Here, Israeli troops routed the Arabs and took hundreds of prisoners. Meanwhile, on May 14, 1948, the new government, headed by David Ben-Gurion, is installed in Tel Aviv. Thus, for the first time since the Roman legion destroyed Jerusalem in the year 70 AD, the Jewish people have a nation of their own. Again, the United Nations had, through peaceful mediation, resolved an international dispute which had been a threat to world peace. بغصن الزيتون في يدي وببندقية الثائر في يدي فلا تسقط الغصن الأخضر من يدي لا تسقط الغصن الأخضر من يدي Here they come, sir. The whole loving bunch of them. All right, get ready, man. Keep your safers handy. But I think myself, yep. I'm not talking about my government. No, you, you, I you. I think it's ridiculous. Okay, why? Because that would destroy Israel demographically. That is a core existential issue. We and just have want, a Jewish majority. And you don't want demographics as that's, worried that's, uh, the former Prime Minister Sharon a lot. That's right. We have only one state that Jews for Jews. Mm -hmm. Allah, يعني نوين نروح على فلسطين. مسألة حق العودة مسألة مقدسة العودة. إلى قرانا إلى مدننا إلى عكا وحيفا ويافا والناصرة وكل هاي المدن للجليل للنقب كل هاي على كل أرض فلسطين There will be in Israel with a Palestinian majority which is the implementation of the right of return it will not happen أهو حيب لي أرض وطني أرض إلي أرض ملك وزتون وبالي هناك وأحنا مش نسيم فلسطين وفتاح الدار فلسطين بعد ما وجود عنه وما تمكبلت نجيت أو بمليون من الفلسطينيين شم بخوتس شم يفوا لكن لقوا إني شلوم أمتي 
But if you speak about the right of return, there is no compromise and there is no peace. We, not, we don't need peace. How would you solve that issue? Easy. What? Palestinians go there, Jews go here. I mean, That's why President Jimmy Carter calls it apartheid. I don't believe in peace with the Arabs. We also had ancestors who lived here way, 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 way back. So, um... We had about 800,000 Jews expelled from Arab lands. In tiny Israel, one-tenth of one percent of the Arab countries, without the oil wealth cornucopia, we absorb these 800,000 Jewish refugees. We also have... Uh, our refugees, they need, they need to return, so... Uh... We don't have space, you know, it's a really small country. Uh -huh. It's not like we came here in my own idea, just to take the places. Uh -huh. I believe that by acknowledging the right of return, Israel will acknowledge the ethnic cleansing it perpetrated against the Palestinians in 1948, when it dispossessed half of Palestine's population, demolished half of Palestine's villages, and destroyed half of Palestine's towns. This ethnic cleansing is the cause and the root of the problem. <laughs> Nobody has a claim that overrides all the others and entitles that person with that so-called claim to drive people out. I mean, that's the point. <laughs>